Located in Dubai, a symbol of human ambition and an iconic landmark, standing at 828 meters tall, the world's tallest building. The Burj Khalifa, an engineering masterpiece, home to offices, residences, hotels and tourist attractions including a 360-degree observatory, the Burj Khalifa is a masterpiece of modern architecture and the construction of this building was an unprecedented technical and human challenge, completed in 2010, with 160 floors, it became a monumental landmark of Dubai. Let's explore its history from the conception of the project, overcoming challenges during construction to the inauguration. The project to build the Burj Khalifa began in 2004 with the goal of creating a symbol for the city of Dubai, driving economic growth and elevating the city's image. Building the impossible. Imagine an epic challenge, building the world's tallest building in the middle of Dubai's desert. This was the goal of the Burj Khalifa project, using advanced technology to conceive a building that would reach new heights, including digital simulations and wind models, to overcome the technical and logistical challenges of building such a tall and safe building. The journey to build the Burj Khalifa was divided into several stages, starting with drilling foundation wells and building the central core. Then, the floors were added gradually, allowing the lower floors to be completed before moving on to the upper floors, but the construction was not easy, the team faced challenges such as the high temperature of Dubai's desert, as well as the difficult logistics of transporting materials. The idea of building the Burj Khalifa came about in the early 2000s, with the goal of creating an iconic symbol for the city of Dubai and driving economic growth. Imar Properties led the project and architect Adrian Smith was chosen to design this imposing architectural work, known for his experience in designing high-altitude buildings, including the Willis Tower, former tallest building in the world, where he worked previously. The challenge was to build a building of a height never before achieved and Adrian Smith brought the experience to overcome this challenge. The initial concept of the project was inspired by the design of a flower, with several arms that extend from the central core. The goal was to create a building that would stand out on the horizon of Dubai and reflect the wealth and progress of the city. The choice to build such a tall building was also motivated by the need to break records and establish the city as a tourist destination and a global financial center. The construction of the Burj Khalifa was an unprecedented technical and human challenge, but thanks to careful planning and technology, the team was able to complete the construction. The construction represented an unprecedented challenge for the design team, both in terms of height and in terms of safety and energy efficiency. The challenging height of the building required the team to develop innovative techniques to ensure structural stability. This included the use of digital simulations and wind models to predict the forces on the building and ensure its safety. Additionally, wind, soil, and climate studies were conducted to ensure that the building would withstand the adverse weather conditions of the region. Logistics was also a challenge, as it was necessary to transport materials and equipment to such a high altitude. To overcome this, engineers developed vertical transportation systems and high-speed elevators to ensure that the materials reached the construction site safely and efficiently. Solutions also had to be developed to ensure the energy efficiency of the building. This included natural ventilation systems to reduce the energy consumption of air conditioning systems and LED lighting to save energy, and systems for water reuse and waste management were implemented to reduce the environmental impact of the building. All these challenges were overcome thanks to careful planning and advanced technology. Building the Burj Khalifa was an epic challenge and a historic milestone in world architecture, and the process to raise this imposing structure was as challenging as it was impressive. The construction team divided this challenge into three stages. The first stage was to create a solid foundation, drilling 192 concrete and steel piles, buried more than 50 meters deep. The second stage was to raise the main structure, using reinforced concrete and steel, with the help of a high-pressure concrete pump. The third and final stage was to complete the interior of the building, including air conditioning, lighting, electrical, and plumbing systems, as well as pressurized maintenance floors for safety. Starting in 2004, 
The construction was led by Samsung Engineering and Construction, a South Korean company that already had experience in projects such as the Petronas Twin Towers and Taipei 101. The German company Putzmeister developed a specific high-pressure concrete pump for the project, and more than 45,000 cubic meters of concrete and 110,000 tons were used to build the foundation. During construction, the team set a world record by pumping concrete to a height of 606 meters at the 156th floor. Three tower cranes were used to construct the upper floors, and the structure of the upper floors was made of lighter steel, and a special mix of concrete was used to ensure the necessary strength for the construction of the building. This mix was developed to withstand the extreme pressures of the weight of the building, especially considering the high temperatures of Dubai's desert. The construction of the Burj Khalifa was mainly carried out at night to ensure the safety and comfort of the workers and the floors were highly compartmentalized to bring more safety in case of emergency. This could be the most serious recession in decades. Down 1.7% here, a loss of 37 points or so. Apple shares are just getting hammered this morning. We're down by between 3 and 4.5% and generally across these markets. It was the worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1987. What started in America last year has now spread to every part of the world. The global financial crisis that began in 2008 was a shock to the global economy. Many sectors were affected, and there was a significant impact on the construction industry. Many projects were delayed or cancelled, and one of the most ambitious and iconic projects of the time, the Burj Khalifa, was no exception. The Burj Khalifa was under threat and your destiny was uncertain. Its construction began in 2004. It was already facing significant challenges including the extreme climate of Dubai and the complex logistics of transporting materials and equipment to the height of the building, but with the financial crisis, things got even harder. With the collapse of financial markets, many of the project's initial investors withdrew, causing a lack of funds to continue construction, this led to a temporary cessation of work and the need to find new investors. The crisis also affected the availability of credit for construction projects, as banks were afraid to lend money, many construction projects did not get financing. In addition, the financial crisis also affected the demand for real estate, many potential buyers chose to postpone their purchases due to economic uncertainty, this meant there were fewer buyers willing to invest in apartments and offices in the Burj Khalifa, which caused even more financial pressure on the project. However, thanks to careful planning, the construction team was able to continue progress on the project, with the help of new investors and the support of the government of Dubai. The construction of the Burj Khalifa was a unique and historic challenge that required the dedication and perseverance of a highly skilled team of engineers and workers. With the goal of building the tallest building in the world, they faced unprecedented technical and logistical challenges. The Dubai Desert offered unusual climate challenges, with high temperatures that challenged the limits of air conditioning technology. The logistics of transporting materials and equipment so far and so high was a challenge unlike any other, the need to develop lightweight and resilient steel structures for the upper floors, as well as the need to pump concrete to a record height, required the creativity and innovation of the engineers involved. The 2008 global financial crisis threatened to interrupt the progress of the project, but the team managed to find new investors and continue working. The construction of the Burj Khalifa was a story of overcoming, an inspiring example of how determination and innovation can overcome the most difficult challenges. In 2008, the construction of Burj Khalifa reached a historic milestone by reaching the final height of the building's central core. The following year, in 2009, Burj Khalifa was officially declared the tallest building in the world and construction was completed in 2010 with a grand celebration and inauguration. The final result is an architectural masterpiece that impresses and inspires all who see it. Today, Burj Khalifa stands proudly as a testament to the human spirit and the ability to achieve the impossible, a testament to human ability to overcome challenges, innovate and achieve what seems impossible. Beyond its aesthetic beauty, what is it really like to live and work inside this 828-meter tall tower? For residents of Burj Khalifa, it is a unique experience to live in a luxury building. As the tallest building in the world, it offers breathtaking views of the city of Dubai and the Persian Gulf, providing access to a variety of amenities such as pools, gyms, and suspended gardens. For those who work in Burj Khalifa, it is a unique opportunity to work in one of the most famous buildings in the world. 
With beautiful views and a central location, the building is a prestigious address for companies of all sectors. In addition, Burj Khalifa offers access to a nearby metro station and is surrounded by shops, restaurants, and tourist attractions, making it a convenient location for both residents and workers. The Burj Khalifa is not just a commercial or residential building, but also a tourist destination in itself. The building offers a range of activities and attractions for visitors, one of the main attractions being the observatory. Imagine admiring the panoramic views of Dubai and its surroundings as you ascend to the 124th floor for the 360-degree observatory, or perhaps appreciating the contemporary artworks by international artists displayed in the building. For those seeking relaxation, there is even a spa and pool on the 76th floor, where you can enjoy the spectacular views while refreshing. In addition, the building houses a variety of restaurants and shops, including luxury brands, and a range of entertainment options, including a theater and cinema, making it easy for visitors to spend an entire day at the Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa has been an important landmark in the economy and culture of Dubai since its completion in 2010. The building is a popular tourist attraction, drawing millions of visitors annually, which has a positive impact on the tourism and hospitality industry in the city, with increased employment and income. Furthermore, the Burj Khalifa is an important business center, housing offices of some of the major global companies and brands, generating a positive impact on the economy of Dubai as a whole, helping to attract investments and businesses to the city. However, the impact of Burj Khalifa goes beyond numbers and statistics, it also has a significant cultural impact, as a symbol of Dubai's ambition and innovation, it is seen as an emblem of the city's progress and development, and has been an important factor in building Dubai's image as a global center of business and tourism. The grandeur and ambition of the Burj Khalifa project are a reflection of Dubai's vision to become a notable global destination. As the world's tallest building, it is the city's symbol and a landmark in the construction industry. But the Burj Khalifa represents more than just height and sophisticated engineering, it also represents the constant pursuit of surpassing limits and achieving new heights, this spirit of boldness and innovation is what drives the economy and culture of Dubai, and it is what makes the Burj Khalifa so special and meaningful. A reminder that with vision, ambition, and hard work, we can achieve the impossible. The Burj Khalifa is a modern engineering and architectural masterpiece that inspires dreams and challenges. Its construction marked a historical moment for the city and the construction industry as a whole. Looking forward, it is inevitable to think about the impact that the Burj Khalifa will have on the construction industry in the coming years, it has set a new standard for height and ambition in future projects, and we are likely to see more bold and challenging projects, seeking to surpass the current record. The Burj Khalifa will also serve as an example of energy efficiency and disaster safety for future projects. Its advanced technology and construction innovations are a source of inspiration for other architects and engineers. As a cultural landmark for Dubai, it is expected to continue to be a central point in the city's economy, attracting visitors and businesses. The Burj Khalifa continues to be an amazing masterpiece of modern engineering and architecture and its influence will be felt for many years to come and will continue to serve as an inspiration for other construction projects around the world.